Hello, boys and girls. I'd like to read to you a Bible story. This Bible story is about the most amazing thing, most amazing miracle that's ever been done. This happens before there were people on the earth, before there were animals on the earth, before even the earth itself. There was complete darkness and silence. The Bible says, without void and form. And it just looked like nothing was there except God himself. Then God spoke four simple little words, let there be light. And there was light and the miracle of creation began. The earth and everything in it, God made in six days. He began with day one of creation by making light and darkness. He separated the light and the dark from each other and he called the light day and the darkness night. Day two. Day two of creation, God created waters above the earth in the heavens and water on earth itself. Then he created the sky and put it between the waters of the heaven and earth. Day three. On day three, God moved the waters on earth together and separated them from the dry land. He called the waters seas and the dry land land. He filled the land with plants of all kinds, plants and trees and bushes, trees that grow fruit and have seeds in them. And his plan was that the seeds would drop to the ground and make new plants. That way the plants would keep growing more plants and fill the earth with flowers and bushes and trees. On day four, God put a light in the nighttime sky. This light is the moon. He also put stars in the sky. God put a brighter light in the daytime sky. This light is the sun. Day five. Day five saw the creation of fish and other life in the seas, from the tiniest little minnow to the mammoth blue whale. God filled the waters with all kinds of life. Day five is also the day that God made birds to fly through the sky. The sparrows, the blue jays, the robins, all these were creatures that he made. And he told all the creatures of the sea and of the sky to have babies so that there'd always be life in the seas and in the sky. On day six, God made all kinds of animals that live on the earth. He made insects like mosquitoes. He made small animals like squirrels and kittens and puppies. He made large animals like elephants and giraffes. He made farm animals too, like cows and pigs and goats. God told all these animals to have babies so the earth would always be filled with animals. God looked at everything he had made. He was happy with all of it. But there was one more special creation on day six, and this was his masterpiece. He made the first man just out of the dust of the earth. Adam was the man's name, and he was made in God's own image. That means that people could think and talk and make choices and care about the kind of things that God cares about. And God said to Adam, I want you to give names to each of the animals that I have created. So Adam named them all. That's a butterfly. That's a hippopotamus. He had lots of animals to name. And when the naming was finished, 
Adam was lonely. There was no other human to be friends with and to talk to. So God saw that Adam was lonely and he decided to make another human. So he put Adam to sleep and took one of the ribs out of his side. And then he caused that rib to form another human. The human was different than Adam though. It was a woman and her name was Eve. Adam and Eve were the first people on earth and God told them to have babies and fill the whole earth with more people. He trusted them to govern the earth and to take care of it. He made a beautiful garden for them to live in with everything they would need in that garden. God said, I have made plants and animals for you to eat. When he was finished with all this, the sixth day ended. God looked at everything he had made. It was good. God was happy with everything. So on the next day, the seventh day, God rested. Do you have a favorite animal that he made on day six? Would it be fun to draw a picture of that animal and show us at church? I know right now you probably are very thankful for God creating all those things. I know I am. Let's pray and thank God for all of it. Dearest Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you so, so much for everything you created. It shows that you love us. It also shows what power you have just to say the words, and it's there. Dear Heavenly Father, we also want to thank you for Jesus. And we ask all of this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, I think it would be wonderful if you would memorize the first uh, sentence in the Bible. And here it is. Genesis 1.1 1, 1. In the beginning... God created the heavens and the earth. If you could memorize this and say it to me at church, I would give you a reward, a very sweet reward. However, if you don't go to our church, you still deserve a reward, don't you? So you could say that verse to mom and dad, and they could give you the reward. I think it is a wonderful thing to remember this verse because it started everything for us. And now, boys and girls, I will want to say goodbye to you and also God bless you. Goodbye. I can barely turn on a computer, but my son says if you hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell that you'll be notified when the next story comes out. He also says that if you would hit the like button, more children will get to see this, the story. So I trust you know what all that means because I don't.